After North Korea bio threat, Trump drops brutal surprise on Rocketman. Things haven't been cooling down between North Korea and the United States. Despite an international rebuke from the United Nations, the rogue nation continues to threaten the U.S. and our allies with devastating death and destruction. The latest boast coming out of North Korea promised terrifying biological warfare against American citizens. This kind of attack could be a prelude to larger scale attacks. But while North Korea is making empty promises, the United States is showing off its impressive military prowess. From Newsmax Aside from threatening nuclear war against the United States, North Korea is also suspected of secretly developing a vast biological weapons program that could unleash fear and death in crowded cities, a Harvard University study warns. North Korea is likely to use biological weapons before or at the beginning of a conflict to disrupt society and create panic, incapacitate societies, and or cause a significant military diversion, says the Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs at the Harvard Kennedy School. Sounds scary, huh? But I don't think North Korea really wants to poke this beast. As the U.S. Air Force are bringing out the big guns. The really big guns. From Fox News the U.S. Air Force is preparing to place its fleet of nuclear-armed B-52 bombers on 24-hour alert for the first time since 1991 amid escalating tensions with North Korea, the military branch's chief of staff said in a report Sunday. The B-52, which can fly up to about 50,000 feet and at subsonic speeds, has the ability to release a variety of weapons, including cluster bombs gravity bombs and precision-guided missiles. The long-range bomber can also unleash both nuclear and precision-guided conventional ordnance. These bombers are incredibly powerful and can unleash unrelenting destruction upon a target. Now, we know that our military isn't about to use them unnecessarily. This is clearly an attempt to warn North Korea. Brag about biological warfare all you want, Kim. You don't want American coming at you with these B-52s. The firepower of these airplanes should send Kim and his generals back into their bunkers for sure.